We are blessed to present the insightful gathering entitled "To Help the World Is Our Duty," Part One of Three, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on December 28, 2019, in Newland Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Everybody, please thank God, thank those involved, and then uh, offer to the Buddha, offer to all the saints, and then pray that all beings have all they need, and then thank you again and eat. Okay. Go ahead. I have to work. <laughs> Go ahead. How to? Bon appetit. Thank you. You eat, okay? Hungry. It. Cheers. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Merry New Year. Love you. Love you and thank you. Thank you for working for the world. In the names of all humans and animals and trees and planet, I thank you. Good health. Long life. It's all good, yeah. yeah. Mm. Enjoy. Mm. I know you don't expect anything, but it's nice to sit together sometime, huh? Yeah. You work very hard at home, huh? All of you? Yeah. Too hard? No. A little hard only, right? <laughs> yeah, it's worth it, right? Even for me, I feel it's worth it. Yeah. Continue, huh? There was a joke about a couple. Mm. His wife left him, and then、um, he asked his friend to come help him quickly to move all his things out of his house. He rented another apartment somewhere. He said, "Why? Your wife left you all alone now. Why you have to move?" He said, "In case she come back." <laughs> <laughs> Good excuse to just be free. I don't know who is、uh, doing what job for SMTV, but I thank all of you. Huh? I'm sure you have devoted all your time that you have, all your heart and all your love into the work. And I thank you. Huh? I really thank you. Some Taiwanese here also, right? Taiwanese, right hand. Wow. Okay. Very good. It's very difficult to work together for me, you know, to work with anybody. That's why I always have to work alone. Also, my work nobody can replace anyway. Yeah, but I'm very. <laughs> so sometimes people nearby they want to help you, but they make more trouble. No, it's for me. It's like that. For you, it's different. Maybe something inside it doesn't mix. You know,、and、they brought their karma with them and make more trouble. And if I cannot bear their energy or their karma, I yell. Then it's me. I'm the bad one, <laughs> always. Because you don't see anything else going on behind the physical appearance. You understand? Yeah. Many people don't look their partner, but sometimes they're very harmful. Now, yesterday you heard the story of your brother, huh? When he first told me something. He didn't say the story, but he said, "I told him, why cannot you make it up together? You know,、mm. if you had love before, maybe you can rekindle love again. And try to make it up, and just、uh, just let it be all for peace sake and for the children's sake, yeah."、Mm. 
So I don't, didn't know whom to believe, but... So I told him to make it up with each other, you know, so make a family again. And I say, also, even if, if the children stay with the mother, it's okay also. And, uh, and you can also share the responsibility, like some of other divorced couple, you know. <laughs> one week is me, one week is you. But then, uh, yeah, sit there. If that's empty, no, no, that's, <laughs> that's his seat. Get me a chair, sit here. Oh, sit here. We were just gossiping about you. Sit down. You can have my food. Bring my food here. Now. You can have my food. bring it. 刚才要带来给师父吃,先给他. So, remember I told you, try to, there. Try to make it up with your wife. Remember your ex-wife. And I say, you, I even, <laughs> I even, uh, I even coach you how to talk to your wife. I just tell him the story because I say you cannot judge from the outside. So that I make you as an example. Yeah, not that we gossip. You please eat. Here you are, my love. Yeah, I am not eating. You eat. You eat. You take care of it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> For a good disciple, you are just like me. Okay? Same. May I mention about, yeah. about the... Um your photos that you sent, the, the, you know the Jesus, Jesus, baby yeah. Jesus. Yeah, and not my photo, not my photo. Most, it's a, the powers behind it, don't worry. Yes. And um, my children, we, we still have them. And, mm -hmm. um, I keep it. And they keep, yeah, my children, when they came to me four years ago, they were two years behind in education, okay? And, and so... Within 10 months of being with me, because Master said put the photos above their desk where the laptops are, where they yeah. do their homework. Ma Mary and, and, and child. Yeah. Yeah. And within 10 months, they caught up to all their education. Okay? And then, um, they are now advanced in every single subject matter in yeah, school. Advanced. And before, a week before I came here, um, I got several emails from my, from my son from the school and from my daughter from the school stating that they are now the top 15% of the top elite of the school uh, because of you know, uh, uh, the power of mo these photos that Master gave us. Yeah, so, uh, Master just, uh, and uh, Master's detail. I'm thinking, when all these deep messages were coming through, it was like Master has children. Well, she does. But, <laughs> but, but it's like Master has her own child. She knew everything to such fine detail of just how everything had to be. Just this case. <laughs> Your children is just like my children. Yeah, they talk to me inside. I talk to them inside. But as I told you already, I have many worse kind of disciples direct from hell and all that, okay? And my enemies and really fatal enemies and all that came into my circle as disciples because I went out and opened, you know? And now we have a little bit more selection. I have to be vegan three months and all that, but still, before it was just like up for grab, you know, and they release the negative, the Maya release so many from hell to come up to be my so-called disciples to make trouble for me. And I don't have good names all over the internet, you understand? I also have been accused of things that I did not do, for example. We have enemies when we are famous. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah? yeah. Even your own people might not even like you because they're jealous. You see the, the film called The, the Bodyguard, right? Yes. Uh, Whitney Houston? Is that called The Bodyguard? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you see, her own sister wanted to kill her. Yeah, and she went through length, you know. She cut out newspaper for threatening letters, and she hired, you know, uh, how you say, assassin, assassin to, to kill her sister, threatening her every day, let her live in fear even. The fear tactic was already killing her. And then uh, finally, you know, almost kill her son. You saw that? Yeah. yeah. Some people in this world are so driven by jealousy. And anything you do, you pay for it. I mean, 
anything you do for your success, even many people are rich and famous, they have their own bodyguards and their alarm system all the time. You understand? They even put up a, a policeman statue in front of the house. I saw some of them in, in Hollywood. <laughs> Just to let people know that we have, we prepare, you know, we have uh, security in the house or something like that. Everybody knows it's a statue still, but it's something, you know what I mean? Yes. I feel all my so-called disciples and my family, I trusted all of them until something happens. I never have any doubts about anybody. Yeah. yeah, even now I'm still very trusting, <laughs> and that is my problem. But I'm not ashamed of that. It's better than distrusting, right? Better than always thinking bad about somebody before they even do anything to you. So it's okay. And now I just trust heaven. Whatever they tell me, I check if it's true or not, and then I just do it. I don't check people. <laughs> I still don't. So it's very difficult for me to. Anybody can fool me, that's, <laughs> that's a conclusion. Anybody can cheat me, anytime. <laughs> yeah, but never mind, what can I do? I, they don't change, I cannot change either, yeah? Right? Yeah. <laughs> How can the sun change? <laughs> Just like that, okay? I continue eating, guys, uh, that's, not, that's it? You eat, man. Uh, too excited, don't eat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, if you ever come. <laughs> oh, was thinking how, how is going on with you guys. But then, you know, I don't have a lot of time. I think this and then it's gone to the next, you know. I have next business to do and many things I want to take care. I cannot, I have to keep putting off, putting off to next day, next week, next month. Uh, even to brush my teeth, I have to consider should I brush it now or, <laughs> or after the, the urgent document's done. But they would take some time, half an hour later, one hour, two hours, and then the next. When I work, I just forget to stand up to do other things. I forget to eat, forget to drink. Even if I want to go out and get a drink, I, I forget immediately. I continue working, and then I forget. So, And the doctor gave me some medicine to strengthen a little bit of my bones, <laughs> old bones. And sometimes I forget, sometimes I remember, I just take whenever I can. I forget. You know, I wanted to go take medicine and then some telephone ring or document come and then I'm buried inside and I forget. Yeah, I'm a very bad patient, but at least I do take whenever I remember and, and it helps me. The physical, the physical aspect, because I work a lot and if I don't take care, it might not last long. <laughs> this, this car, <laughs> this old car. <laughs> Sometime in the morning, I normally, I leave the door open so that the girls can come in, the, the gate closed, the door open, so that the girls can come in and bring the dogs out in the morning. When I'm still in meditation or doing my work or in the bathroom somewhere, so it's convenient. But I always lock it without knowing. I always turn the knob and lock it or hook it. It's just automatic. And every time they come in, way there, way there, and I didn't know they were waiting. And then the dogs uh, run in and out, in and out, I say, what's wrong with you guys? Huh? <laughs> and then I hear a very faint voice outside, Master. <laughs> because the door's locked, I cannot hear much. Master. I say, Who's there? Why? What? <laughs> Master. <laughs> and I come near the door. Who? Why are you bothering me? Master, we cannot get in. <laughs> I say, Why you cannot get in? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> I said, I did not lock it. You, you did, Master. It's locked. <laughs> Please open, open. Please open. And I check, really, it's locked. All the time, many, many times. Yeah. Sometimes I scold them and then I scold myself. I say, You stupid woman. <laughs> you stupid woman. You lock yourself in and you scold other people. <laughs> yeah. And I say, sorry, sorry, but I say, I'm sorry. It's just automatic. I didn't realize I locked the door. I really did not. Truly like that. It's just so automatic. I come in the house, immediately I turn around, lock the door. You know, there's a bolt or something, I immediately lock it. 
And even then, before I go to sleep or maybe I go around checking again. <laughs> It's all up. So nowadays, because uh, I have woman help also, but it's not very reliable. So I let the dog sleep in the outside house next to my house, you know, nearby, in the same yard. It's just not in my house anymore, so I don't have to <laughs> open the door every morning for the boys. Yeah, the boys are taking care of dogs now. They don't take care of dogs, they just bring the dog in, bring the dog out. So the woman take care of, of other parts, you know. Uh, I just lock my door all the time. Oh dear. <laughs> immediately, if I come inside the house, immediately, even if I come in out again the next minute, I always turn around and lock it. I made it like a habit to protect myself, at least my peace of mind, you know. Yes. Here we have uh, guards, you know, everywhere, but I still do that, like automaton. <laughs> you please eat now, guys. Yeah. Eat all of that, and that, and that. You ate ourselves already? I had a little bit a little bit only. Then you eat what you can, and like whatever you can take with you, like spring roll, you, you take it with you and eat later. And you eat these things that you cannot take. Yeah. Mm. You can just wrap it up with some paper or put it in your board. Is I don't care here. Here you do what you want <laughs> for for a swing row. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God! This world, the humans will surprise you all the time. Yeah, surprise me all the time. Some people I trust it. You know, even in initiates, right? even sometimes threaten me. You know, if. If sometimes I trust them, let them go me and drive my car or something. Oh, that's sometimes scary. <laughs> Lucky nothing happened and I discard them as soon as I knew. But still, it could have been something else, you know? Scary, my God. Yeah. I, it's my job. I expose myself. That's why I risk running to some situation that was not expected or unfavorable. This is my, my trouble, my job, <laughs> and my trusting heart. Yeah. Everybody looks good, you know, until they do something and that, you know, surprise you, no end. Huh? Mm. <sighs> But I remember you always have very big faith in me and that touched me. I'm helping you because you're a good kid, okay? Yeah, like a good son. Mm -hmm. I'm a good, you mentioned yes that I'm a good father. Mm, a good father also. But, but only because of your teachings, Master. Your teaching made me a better person. Yeah, yeah. A more well, loving and understanding person. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, you so did. <laughs> yeah, your, your teaching makes us a better, loving, caring being. Ah. And it's only through your... Yeah, yeah. It's also you need to rest in order to be a, a recharged and be a good person. Of course, but yes. always have to watch over them, okay? They, of of course, kid. but it they just kid. helps me watch over them, give me more wisdom on how to bring them up. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes you think you are helping master, but you never know. Huh? You might be helping yourself. Yeah, it comes out sooner or later. Yeah, even if it doesn't come out, you know, if you do good things, you have good results. Yeah, good merit, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mm. So actually, I'm thanking you from the human standpoint. Okay, but in the spiritual sense, you really have to thank me. Okay, because mm. you have a chance to do a great job, best job in the world. Yes. Yeah, so go and thank me then, huh? Come and thank your mom. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Good. I'm just telling you logically, spiritually only, but I don't really care if you thank me or not. As long as you work for the world, you have your own merit and your upliftment. And I thank you for that. I thank you for helping yourself through helping the world. Yeah, that you are wise enough to do that. That you're good heart enough to to do that. Okay? Yeah. <laughs>